Welcome to Space Flight Simulator. Before we begin, I want to say a very big thank you to the lovely folks at Stride PR for giving me the opportunity to showcase this game on the channel. If you don't know what Space Flight Simulator is, it was a mobile game that is now making its appearance on Steam, and it is releasing today. I've never played it before, so we're going to dive on in this together and build some rockets and go to space. Alright, so do we want to do video tutorials? I think we'll just pop into play and just hope for the best. <laughs> so, Cowtown Industries shall be our world name. Solar system default, that's perfect. Difficulty will stay on normal. And we'll do classic for now. If things become a pain, we'll go to those tutorials. But I think we should be able to hand... Oh, God. Okay, maybe not. Um, well, that's a fuselage, right? You get a nose cone on there. That. And then an engine. I mean, basically, what more could you ask for at this point? <laughs> oh, landing leg. An extendable and retractable leg used for landing on the surface of moons and planets. Side separator... You know, I gotta be in it. I I think we're good. Your rocket has no heat shield. Oh. Well, hold on. Oh. Well, I guess we don't need a separator. Oh, there it is. Heat shield. Let's put that right there. Does that still count? What if we do... Okay, hang on. I know what we're gonna do. Get a separator on there. Well, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> uh oh. Let's just see what if it complains. It'll probably complain though. I'm gonna be honest. Oh my god! Look at that. Now it seems like it's pretty simple, but you can get pretty in depth in here. All right, fine. Um, how how in the world do you get this heat shield? You just put it on the side. Oh, see, look. Is it happy now? Oh, see, look. It's perfect. <laughs> Ignition. Do I need to put fuel in it and everything? Oh, no, it already does. Uh, all right, so the first launch of Cowtown Air did not go very well. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> but that's okay. I have the next iteration of it, and it's going to be just fantastic. Look at that. Very nice. Now, the only thing is, I need to figure out how in the world you actually launch the thing. But first of all, we need to get some of uh, this going. We need to be aerodynamic out here. What even is this? Oh, it's a parachute. Oh. Okay. And that's a capsule. Okay, we don't need it. We don't need capsules yet. I see what's going on. I should have clicked on that beforehand. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's get some uh, shields going on here. Even though I don't think anything is coming back anyways. It'll just fall back into the atmosphere. <laughs> no worries at all. Oh. <gasps> oh. How did I manage to do this? Oh my goodness. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I feel that tutorial is going to be coming in pretty soon here. There. Okay. Perfect. Launch. Your rocket has no parachute. Your rocket has no capsule, making it uncontrollable. Fine. We'll do this then. Let's delete that. Grab a capsule and a parachute. Oh, no. Before we do that, let's get a separator. Nice. I'm happy with this right now. I just don't know what... Starts everything. 
<laughs> Look at the map. I love it. Got the moon. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. And then, of course, you can go to other uh, worlds as well. It's not just our galaxy, which is pretty cool. So we need to revert to build. And figure this out. Oh, I'm missing a heat shield, too. Where did that go? There we go. Okay. So... Thrust. Weight. Parts. Oh, okay. I thought that was it on the main page. <laughs> oh, get, get build some rovers. Very nice. Docking port. We don't need to worry about that just yet. We just need to get this thing up into space and land it back on the planet. Base. Oh, okay, so that's just... That's amazing, though. Interior views. So you can set up stuff in... I like this. I just want to say... I, I wish I knew how to launch the thing. Left click. Click parts to activate them. Toggle throttle. Min max throttle. Steer rocket. Oh, there we go! Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can actually click on the stuff. That makes sense. Look at that. Reached five kilometers altitude. Oh, I didn't mean to... Do okay, hang on. <laughs> Did not mean to just stop that. Out of liquid fuel. That's all right. This is so cool. I love it. I like that it has like a, a simplicity to it. And then on top of it, it can get very crazy. Look at, oh, it's space. How cool is that? Now I gotta admit, I don't know if we're gonna get back to Earth. Because <laughs> we're kind of out there. But hey, we've had our first successful launch, which is very exciting. But he's never coming back. Look at that. Everything's just floating away. Cool. All right, now that we know that, let's revert back to build. And we need a set of small directional thrusters used for docking. Can you use it for takeoffs as well, I'm assuming? Guess we're about to find out. Because we'll need to get a couple more. Oops, that is not what I meant to have happen. There we go. Now I know how to <laughs> get away from that. Oh, nope. There we go. Perfect. And then let's get a couple more on here. And this time we won't launch everything at once. We're going to have it to where our little rocket goes off after the fact. And you know what? We're going to change out the engine as well. Perfect. I love this so much. <laughs> this is so good already. I know the stuff I'm going to make is probably crap, but... Oh, hang on. I keep accidentally getting that all multi-selected here. There we go. All right, let's try that one out. So engine on, engine on. All right, here we are. The engines are on. And ignition. <laughs> I definitely didn't hit the wrong button. Don't mind me. And if anything, oh, now we can see if Oh, it does work. Oh, hang on. We're going to have to change that. Hold up. <laughs> I just realized. Um, 
yeah, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna revert to build. I need to flip these. <laughs> I don't, I'm overcomplicating this. We'll see how this goes. Probably horribly. Okay, we're gonna get some height really quick. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter at the start. I don't know why I'm worried about it to begin with, honestly. Oh, we can just turn... Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even see that before. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. This is so good. I mean, what in the world? Look at our little ship go. Alright, we're up to five kilometers. Just want to go over just a little bit more. I don't know if we're in space yet. I guess we'll find out. If we start going slow on the height... Oh, look at that. This is... I love that everything's just interactable. You know, it's not just little buttons you push over. You can just click on it and it'll just... jettison everything. Alright, I think we're good. Pop that off. Pop that off. Turn that on. And continue our adventure. Past the Carmen line, leaving the atmosphere and reaching space. Oh, so we just got there. Okay. Nice. There go our <laughs> there go our pieces. Is this cool or what, everybody? My goodness. Alright, so we're going to start heading towards the atmosphere again. Let's look at the map really quick. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's showing our line. That's so cool. So I wonder if you're able to make the Falcon 9 rockets in this, where you can have these boosters go back. I say that like I'm going to create it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so I just remembered, I don't think I have a heat shield on the bottom of my thing here. Uh-oh. Uh oh, this isn't good. Um, <laughs> this didn't disconnect. I don't think this is going to last anyways because we have no heat shields on any of this. Look how cool the effect is. Oh, see, everything's fine. Oh, the parachute. Back to the drawing board, everybody. So it seems like we're able to do this, where if we disconnect this, it'll... Well, maybe, well, I, since we figured out what the heck's going on here, I don't think we need that anymore anyways. We'll definitely keep the ones on the outside. Flip that around. Perfect. And I think we'll... We'll make a slight change here. Just get some more fuel in here. Beautiful. And... We'll just go from that, because I just want to see if that heat shield actually works there or not. Because I need to figure out if that's going to work anyways, you know? Ignition!
So now that we got rid of the uh, RCS little boosters on the sides of our capsule, it should detach correctly. And I'm hoping we'll have that heat shield on here. So what we're going to do is, since I forgot to put some extra boosters on our capsule, once we get into space, we're going to flip this thing over, which, by the way, we're going to start angling here. So yeah, we'll flip it, go backwards, and then we'll hopefully have the heat shield on the bottom of our capsule, and then we'll be able to make this work here. Going full speed for the remainder of our fuel. Space is cool, isn't it? I mean, this stuff is just so fascinating. Oops, I wonder how... Oh, is this what the... Sp oh, no, that just toggles it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Just flip this thing around. Oh, that was close. Okay, now we're going to toggle this. Just spin it around a little bit. Oh, wait, we're going the wrong way. Hold on. I'm leaving Earth. Come on, we need to go. We need to go down. <laughs> we're still climbing. All right, it's, it's slowing down now. We're we're getting there. Cause all we need is just enough fuel to start going the other direction here. Cause what is our map looking like? I mean, we're eventually gonna head back down anyway, so that's good. Oh, that's how you have the. Okay, perfect. All right. So, we should be heading... Oh, nope. I'm looking the wrong way. I'm assuming that's what the arrow's showing is kind of the direction you're going to be entering the atmosphere in. There go our pieces. Off into the... Unknown. Okay. Uh, get out of map. Oh, our heat shield is not there. That is a shame. <laughs> I mean, does the capsule just have a heat shield built into it itself? Probably not. So somehow I need to figure out... How to get that heat shield... In place on the capsule... Entered Earth's upper atmosphere. Oh no. It's burning. So let's see. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, so the rocket has changed a little bit because I found out that, unfortunately, the recording stopped. <laughs> I'm so annoyed right now, but we did create a brand new rocket. I've modified some things. We got fairings now for our little capsule. It's nice and covered, nice and cozy in there. I got the heat shield, which will detach correctly. It'll stay on the capsule, so I'm hoping everything will go well on this launch. But I think everything's ready to go for our first step as a space company. 
So without further ado, let's turn these engines on and light this candle. Mm. <laughs> All right. So I think we'll stick to 50% throttle. That should bring us up out of the atmosphere. Stay up there for a little bit. Kind of do a Blue Origin five minute enjoyment of, <laughs> of space. I mean, technically we don't need the fairings for it, but the more stuff we can interact with and disengage from our rocket, the cooler it looks, is the way I look at it. And I know at this point, heat shields on the side of the rocket are kind of, uh, you know, pointless. <laughs> but that's okay. No need to worry. We are experts at rocket building. And while this rocket is going up, I forgot to mention, you know, pricing and stuff like that. It's going to be $11.99 later today when it releases, which is a very great price. Because like I've been saying, or I guess I don't know if I said it in the part that wasn't there. I was kind of talking for a little bit. But I love the fact that it seems simple, but you can do a lot with it. You can make it complicated. But if you're just trying to have some fun with it, this is just so fun. I love it. And then, when 1.0 releases later this year, it'll release on Nintendo Switch as well, which is pretty cool. So if you're playing on Switch and you like space stuff, you got this to look forward to, which is really cool. But now we're back to our lovely flight here. Let's see how we're doing on the map here. So right now, we're not really going too crazy here. We've reached the 10 kilometer mark. keep tilting this over a little bit. And then for the last second, we're just going to be a, get a good push in here of 100%. There we go. And right now we have a huge gap there, which is perfect. And we've pe passed, the, we've pieced, <laughs> we've passed the Carmen line. So we're going to go ahead and jettison this stuff here. And to be honest, we don't even really need this engine. But we're going to help us kind of slow it down just a little bit. Not going to go too crazy. Just to kind of keep us in a nice order here. All I do know is we're going to keep playing this game. We're going to have just a different objective each time. If you want to leave a comment on what you'd like to see me try to do. I mean, obviously, I am definitely an expert in space travel. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell with my fantastic build here. Um, but I'd definitely like to make a series out of, you know... Do an orbit next time. Create some... Because I don't know if we can have it to where... We can have multiple... Vehicles in space at the same time. I'll have to look at that and kind of dive into it. But it'd be kind of cool to set up a station in orbit. Have a capsule go to it. Dislodge from it and then go back to Earth. And then of course go to other planets as well. Alright, we're going to start heading back into Earth's atmosphere here. Because, I mean, look at that. We can get to the moon, which is going to be really kind of crazy to do. You know, get a big orbit going around and then meet up with the moon. I mean, it's just... It's really cool. And, of course, down the road. Fly to the sun. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're not going to do that. All right, let's go back to us here. Perfect, we're already heading back, so I think... Engine, you're pretty much pointless on this mission, but thank you for the 5% fuel that you utilized here. But of course, dislodge the fairings, because that just looks so cool. 
And then let's go ahead and do this. And there we have it. Got our heat shield on there. It's time to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, everybody. Because now what should happen is that heat shield should spread the heat away from our parachute. We should be able to land. And all shall be well. Uh-oh. Wait. Probably not a good idea to have all that stuff flying with you when you're... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's a fairing right in our path. Uh-oh. That's a bit worrying. Oh, that's all right. It'll, it'll all burn up before we even see it anymore, so it's fine. <laughs> Everything is perfectly A-OK. -okay. I love this effect, especially the heat shield getting bright orangey red. You can see the temperature going crazy over there. Parachute still on. We've now entered the lower atmosphere, so th that should start fading away. Perfect. And I believe, is it 2,500 feet or meters when we can, I'm pretty sure it's 2,500 or below 3,000. What is it? Okay. It is 2,500 meters. We can half deploy our parachutes and a thousand meters, we can fully deploy them. Nice. We can start slowing things down. Because we got... Oh, we got quite a bit of a ways to go still. And let me just double check. I think it's 500 meters. Perfect. So full deploy at the 500 meter mark. And we will have our first successful launch, everybody. All right, here comes the 500 meter mark. The parachute has fully deployed. And now we can come to a nice, graceful landing. Hopefully. <laughs> and then of course, if you're going to a far planet or whatever, you can increase the simulation speed so you don't have to sit at it the whole time. You can kind of just fast forward, see if it's going to work out. Go back to the drawing board, whatever. It'd be kind of cool to have multiple capsules in our little fairings in just side of the rocket and then just deploy them all at the same time and have them all come down at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. I'm sure it wouldn't work out very well, but it sounds cool in my head. So, <laughs> got 120 meters to the ground. There it is. I'll just watch it touch down here. 50 meters. 30 meters. 10. And hey, we made it. <laughs> Recover. Reach the 5 kilometer altitude, 10, 15. Past the Kármán line, leaving the atmosphere and reaching space. Re-entered Earth's atmosphere, max temperature of 1,313 degrees Celsius, and safely returned to Earth. So awesome. I absolutely love this game. I can't wait to just dive into it and just, you know, mess around with some more stuff. Like I said, do an orbit, go to another planet, land on the moon, get a rover built, and deploy that. 
you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of cool things we can do with this, which is very exciting. So again, like I said, $11.99 on Steam Early Access here later today, which is very exciting. And then when the 1.0 release happens later down the year, it'll also release on the Nintendo Switch. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to more Space Flight Simulator on the channel.